Hello and welcome, my name is Chris from ChristopherHall.com and welcome to this uh, short video about running and low back pain. You could probably add in um, you know, joint pain in general, knee pain, ankle pain, um, but obviously being a low back pain specialist I do find um, with the people that I talk to on a regular basis and the people I work with on a regular basis that running can cause um, or be a part of the cause of um, of low back pain and what I wanted to show you are a few um, uh, graphics uh, the first two where you can see sort of the skeleton with the blue what would be arrow on it that's actually from a video but it highlights really well um, what I want to say um, and that comes from the program the anatomy of the human foot done by the BBC um, earlier on this year which was really um, really insightful if you can you can find that video on um, on YouTube I think it's called the incredible human foot or something like that and then what we've got is uh, just a little graph of um, the two different types of strikes so they're called ground reaction forces um, but I'll explain those um, a little bit further uh, in a second so running and low back pain so what's what's happening here what how is how is running causing or how can um, running cause low back pain or at least be a contributing factor to to back pain now what we've got is we've got a few different um, uh, options as to what's what's causing it one is the mechanics of how you run and the second is the exposure to how much you run so you've got a quantity and a quality um, let's say issue happening so what we've got is we've got heel striking now if we look at the me mechanical side of it heel striking goes through your joints so if you look at the top picture of the skeleton you can see the forces are going very close to let's say all the major joints of the lower limb you can see the ankle the knee and eventually the hip as well so you've got a lot of force going through those joints if we then look at the forefoot strike we can see the force misses the joints from a much uh, gr at a gr much greater distance so you can see it kind of goes through the front to midfoot and then goes way behind the knee so what you're doing is you're using the the mechanics the position of your foot to distribute the forces that are going through um, your joints so the forces that actually reach the joints are a lot less so mechanically we can use forefoot striking to, to reduce the stress what we can also do is use our exposure so how much we do that obviously running a little bit less is going to make it that much easier so if we look at the, um, the two graphs to the right of those what you can see is both of the, uh, the graphs show that whether we strike heat with the heel or the front of the foot we're getting about between two and a half and three times our body weight as a, as a ground reaction force going up through our joints or up through our body or up towards whether it's going through the body or whichever but we're, we're, we're getting sort of between two and a half and three times our body weight now obviously if we're being very repetitive on that obviously that's going to create a lot if we strike with the heel those uh, forces are going to go through the joints if we use the forefoot those those forces are going to miss the joints which is obviously going to ease the pressure and what we also get is if you look at the top graph you get that first spike as well in the bottom graph you only you get one sort of very sort of consistent curve or for the most part you can see there's a slight uh, on the way up there's a slight deviation but for the most part it's a nice consistent curve so there's there's really there's one contact with the floor obviously with the heel strike there's two contacts with the floor the first one is the heel hitting the floor when your heel hits the floor all the muscles become disengaged when they become disengaged that allows those ground reaction forces to go straight up through the joints because your heels just hit the floor so what we want to be able to do is minimize that quantitatively obviously doing it a little bit less but also quantitatively 
uh, sorry, qualitatively, which is using a different mechanics and using a strike which is slightly further forward. That will improve uh, your your running, not necessarily by you know instantaneously making you faster, but it will reduce your risk of injury, which will allow you to run for longer. And then eventually, if you understand the mechanics of forefoot striking, you will become a lot more efficient in the way you run. So your energy levels will be maintained because you won't expend so much energy doing a half an hour run or doing a an hour's run if you are running upon your uh, running back on your heels. So I hope this has been helpful. I hope there's been some new insights into into your running and how you can minimise low back pain. So thanks for watching. Uh, obviously, if you want to see more videos, come to the website, Uh Many thanks for watching. I will speak to you in a future video.